Furries rejoice as Baldur's Gate 3 takes interspecies love to the next level. You are not alone if you need clarification on that sequence of words. Thus, in the spirit of clarity, let's break down the latest controversy surrounding this upcoming game. Larian Studios is in the midst of creating its third installment in the famous Baldur's Gate franchise. Fans have been waiting on this game for years, and on August 5th, the anticipation will end as Larian Studios prepares for early PC access. With the anticipation of this game building over the weekend, they decided to shine the spotlight on this title by showcasing exactly why you should be excited. This excitement quickly turned into shock when it was released just how much freedom you will have in this game. While modern video games are no stranger to love scenes, nothing could prepare the unexpected audience for what lay ahead. If you ever thought about what it would be like to sleep with a bear, your dreams can now become a virtual reality in Baldur's Gate 3. In an attempt to take things to the next level, you can go all the way with a grizzly bear in this game. Yes, this is not a joke. Larian Studios will have a bear love scene in the game. However, in their defense, your bear-loving antics will be entirely optional. As expected, this decision by the studio is quite divisive. From my perspective, this is funny. I am sure other games allow you to do this, but I still find this entertaining. I am most interested in the reactions from both the media and fans. I want to break down the media's response because there is a lot of hypocrisy, but let's first break down what this game is. Baldur's Gate has a long-standing history dating back almost three decades. The latest installment has been in development for what feels like an eternity. The newest entry into the franchise is looking to expand like never before. As part of the panel from Hell presentation, they revealed a lot about their new game. Everything from their character creation to the size of the world will be better and bigger than ever. This game will be more significant than ever before and a lot more spicier. People lost their minds when Cyberpunk 2077 allowed for complete frontal uncensorship. Baldur's Gate 3 will take this idea to the next level, enabling full customization over that area. However, this is not where the fun ends for players. There will be many different classes, each more in-depth than the other. When this game launches in less than a month from now in early access, there will be limited playable options. However, there will still be plenty to do as developers prepare for a full November 5th release on PlayStation 5. Although plenty exists for you to do in this game, one deed stands out. Within the game, you can go with a druid in bear form. Game developers consider this one of their most vital game selling points. In a press release, they said, have you ever considered the joys and pleasures of sexual congress with a wild-shaped druid? Because at Larian, we have, and ultimately landed on the side of giving the people what they want, tender, consensual romance with a man temporarily transformed into a grizzly bear. I will revert to my original stance on this topic. This studio is having fun in this scene. I have no issue with it. The aim is to do something silly, and on that front, the developers deliver. However, it is the reaction from the media that is irritating many people. We again have the usual suspects sticking their heads out to comment on the game. This time though, the reactions by some of the outlets are the opposite of what you might expect. A woman in a skirt is enough for a journalist to have a complete mental breakdown. Even thought of mildly attractive feminine women is enough for them to smear a game thoroughly. An online journalist relentlessly dragged Final Fantasy XVI for the crime of having a few beautiful women. Although the thought of women with cleavage might terrify these people, sweet bear loving certainly does not. Many of these outlets could not contain their excitement over the idea of a man doing that to a bear. Once again, I want to be clear that the game, in this case, did nothing wrong. They are just having fun, and that is fine. The joy-sucking journalists who insist on forever politics have upset people, though. The same people who call you a perv for liking attractive women in a video game are celebrating bear love there might be a disconnect with how they choose to direct their anger. This is not to say there should be any anger towards this scene. Should any of these outlets ever call you out again for liking attractive women, remember to bookmark their articles calling the bear love stunning and brave. The fan reaction to this scene has been equally interesting to observe. Based on what I have seen, most do not mind it. Most of the replies came from Twitter, which was in response to media outlets covering the story. Fans often responded underneath journalists' posts, calling out the same hypocrisy I mentioned. Fans pointed out how they have been smeared for years while media outlets celebrated things like this. 
While they demonize the male gaze, they celebrate bare love. For many, these two things should be reversed. You did have a few people who took exception to the scene, stating that it was a mistake to pre-order this game. To those people, I can only advise that they still give the game a chance. You chose to support the game for a reason. One entirely optional scene should not make you lose interest in the title. If you enjoy the franchise, you should certainly play the game. When you get to the part of the bear, skip ahead or do not transform. Or do transform and enjoy the ride, the choice will always be yours. Hopefully, this is not enough for people to boycott the game. Instead, point your anger toward those who have been smearing gamers for years. Remember all the bad names they called you when you said you thought Lara Croft was attractive. Those same people are now writing articles about the perfect bear love they are receiving. It does not matter what you do if you are not guilty of this double standard. Despite all the recent controversy, the hype for this game is still there. They should have released everything a few years ago, but as the scope of the title changed, so did the timeline. Developers wanted to do something like never before. They are going all out for this title, and their work is showing. This game will turn some off, and others will be turned on. No matter what, Baldur's Gear 3 will be released officially on November 5th. If you want to play before then, you can enjoy early access on August 3rd.